Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you the best optimization settings for Dota 2 to improve your FPS and overall performance of your game. So first thing we can do is head over to the Steam application and inside of here you need to right click on Dota 2 and come into properties. Then you'll see an option down here called launch options and the first thing you want to type in here is hyphen and the word high. And what this command is going to do is it's going to give Dota 2 priority CPU usage to ensure maximum performance when you're gaming. The next thing you want to type is space and then hyphen map and what this command is going to do is it's going to load the Dota 2 map when you launch the game which helps load times after finding a game and the last and final command we're going to type in here is spacebar hyphen no hl tv and once again I won't go into details about what this does but it basically just disables hl tv options in the game and it can also give you a nice little performance boost then once we finish in here we can close out of this window and we're going to launch Dota 2 first thing you need to do when you're inside of Dota 2 is come into the settings tab in the top left and head over to the options tab and you want to expand this box here to advanced options and then the first thing we're going to change is this network quality down here now if you're using a high speed router and the router is located right next to your laptop you want to keep this option i have a high end network however if your laptop's quite far away from your router or you just generally have a slower connection you may want to consider using this i have a low end network as this is going to improve the overall performance of the game and then another thing i like to check here is this display network information as this is going to give us some important information like FPS and it's going to give us an indicator of how fast our gaming's running. Then we can come over to the video tab and for most of you you want to keep this to use my monitor's current resolution. You can customize it and use advanced settings just make sure the display mode is set to full screen as this is going to give you the best FPS. Then once again for the best performance we need to change direct 3D to Vulkan and this is going to give you the best FPS settings. It will require you to download a couple of extra files completely for free and you can basically just compare the two between direct and Vulkan but for most of you you're going to get maximum performance using Vulkan. And over to the rendering tab, you can basically adjust this slider here to prioritize either the graphics or performance of your game. Obviously if we set this to the fastest, it basically unselects everything, so let's just select that for now, but there are a couple things we need to add into here. So I need you to select use advanced settings and there's a couple important things we need to select like animate portrait that needs to be selected and also ambient inclusion and then the rest of these settings here you can leave off as they're really not necessary and by leaving them off you're going to get a nice FPS boost when you're gaming. Texture quality we can either set to low or medium it depends really on your computer if you're running a high speed computer you can probably set this to medium but if you've got a lower spec computer maybe just keep this one to low. Effects quality we need to keep it low and shadows quality you want to set to medium. You can turn this off completely which definitely gives you a performance boost but it just doesn't look too great in the game so I'd recommend keeping this one here at medium. Then game screen render quality we want to set this to 100% to avoid our game being blurry and then maximum frames per second allowed. I like to keep this at maximum as generally the higher frames per second the smoother gameplay we're going to get. And then the dashboard one at the bottom here I keep at the minimum. And that's it guys, by following all of these steps that's going to give you the best FPS settings when playing Dota 2. If this video did help you please drop a like and subscribe, until next time.